Dan versus Morgo. Your souls shall be mine. I don't think I keep those. Rot is risky, can pull out the 7-7. Seven, seven. Like Drake is fine against mid shaman, but it still can be just hex. Plus it's really bad against aggro. I think pirate nerf and speed glow nerf makes a lot of sense. Isrina being gun in next expansion, they, they will kind of like drop power level. Like Buccaneer nerf will really hurt pirates a lot. Just drop power level of mm, existing decks to not make another power creep expansion. I didn't want to discard Rina or Abyssal Enforcer or Shadow Flame. Yeah, I should have tapped first for sure. Getting rid of Hellfire is bad, so. It could have been a useless card too. I didn't know it. Alright, Drake. This dies to Jade Lightning. Plus one, plus one on this seems good. Could top Imgen bus. Tapping every turn is really good right now. Like, Argos isn't only a curve, it's also buffing only one creature. Even so, it seems so great to buff. It only grants me good trade. Imp should do the same. So Blood Crystal denies him and draw heals magic for 5 HP. I wonder. Does seem like I tap. Denying and draw is pretty important. Not quite sure what kind of jade it is. It might be pirates. Might be flame town variation. Probably should kill totems if I can. And the way you beat jades, it's just by killing every single guy. Normally, it's hard to out tempo such deck. Just get the Kazakus, get the brand, get all your removals going, and you could. I kinda like this move, very intelligent way of like making things not super wasteful. Shamans sometimes play um, Devolve. I don't want to waste my AoE right now, it damages my own stuff and the board is like not super great yet. Too high, so what the fuck? <laughs> Could play Peddler, but I want to play Peddler with Bran, maybe. Also healing myself might be reasonable, like he's not damaged right now, so it doesn't heal him. High rolls were huge, so... Actually, those have were roll low rolls, never mind.
My bad. Mind control tech joins the field. Can make four, six, four, four, and two, three. Brand plus Abyssal can clear. I take six in the process. Let's do this, I guess. Deccan can be charged with Jar, probably best one. Abyssal Demon Rush. No, if it's better, that's like an AoE. And Brand by itself isn't really an AoE. So if I Jar. Take five and three. Take eight at least. Make one lightning. Let's risk it. It's to be like Maelstrom, Jade Claws, and second Jade Lightning. Not super likely. Runs Bloodlust. But Bloodlust is quite random. I actually feel like I'm queuing to this Kana Reno decks for some reason. I don't really see too many Reno decks playing itself. So people like taking against Reno when there are not so many Reno on ladder. Or maybe I'm just unlucky. Bloodlust is definitely not for aggro, right? I haven't seen so many face shamans either. It's more like warriors. Even couple controls. I guess if I would have had a Bloodlust in my G Shaman, I wouldn't have done too badly uh, today if I would queue into the same guys. There were quite a few Agarogs, so... Arena, what does it up? Like Rad Doom. I guess it will be increasingly difficult, more difficult for him to kill Doom if I rot. I would say it should be only a Doomsayer then. I guess he can Hellfire, but is it even good? If I just doom, he can bolt. And you go like top imp into top drake. Cast like some fury will always be pulled out from rat accidentally. Even if there are like handful of Kazakh's brands and shit, you can still pull out their sun fury because no one ever plays sun fury until it's really needed. It is possible he's holding Kazakh's still just didn't pull it out. Possibilities. I'm not ready. No imps. I guess it's fine. Could Oos Argus kind of want Oos for Jar, so. I mean, it's slow to wait for Jar. 
Let's play Argus before he can enforce us, right? Let's play Drake after AoE is more likely to happen. And uh, he can Hellfire, but difference between attacking and not attacking. If he wants to Hellfire, just extra on one on board, he can survive without it. Like the major problem I saw about just stopping and playing Drake is. I can't really keep tapping because I'll have too many cards. I will need to play two cards at some point. And this card I will need to play is likely Ooze. If I play Ooze anyway, I would rather do it now and Argus. So I get value from extra imps and also this guy surviving. Just made sense. Oh man, seriously? That's not fair. Again, I should probably play two at, at, at once. And it's pretty full. It was a spot for life tap, but if I left up now, there will likely be none for next turn, so better to play creature immediately. Yeah, no, small time Buccaneers now, 3 1. <laughs> it was 1 2, now it's a 3 1 1 1. And a pirate. The power, you say? Going to blast crystal. Shouldn't develop anymore. There's a twist in nether. Die, 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 die. Oh man, he even tapped. It's optimistic. This video is brought to you by G2A.com.